All right, Steve Houston, welcome back to my channel. Hey, listen, I got a question for you before we start this video, and that is this. Do you like the scripted videos better when I'm in the studio and then we do a bunch of editing and, you know, we fancy them up a little bit? Or do you just like me to come on the channel and just be real? Uh, I think most of you, because of the many conversations that I've had and the, 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 the single biggest comment that I think is made is the fact that they like the fact that it's bold and authentic. Well, bold and authentic is what we're doing today because uh, it's cold in Northern California and uh, I need a haircut and uh, I got the, uh, the the facial hair thing going here. And But I just wanted to kind of keep this, uh, this uh, series going, which is top income earners think differently. And uh, as a result, this is video number two and video number one I'll put up in the... Uh, well, maybe I'll put it up here as a card, but if you're watching this video before we get a chance to go in there and edit that and do the cards, then it's going to be in the description because that's easy to do. But on this video, I'm continuing my series on top income earners do think differently. And I figured out over the last couple of years that several thousand agents have gone through here, there are certain things that separate the ones that do this business at a, at a high level. And I'm talking about a, a high level. If you've ever thought about selling life insurance, I've been doing this since I was 30, uh, 33 years ago, since I was about 21, 22, and I was a captive agent. I've gone through the whole you know, gamut of being a captive agent and uh, uh, being independent and brokers better uh, and being part of a leads-based sales uh, opportunity or IMO is far better than, you know, I talk to a lot of people about, well, I can self-generate my leads. Yeah, you probably can, uh, but uh, you're going to spend so much time in the marketing department, you're going to make half what you can do if you let somebody else deal with the lead generation, and you understand that all businesses have expenses, and we don't have a whole lot of expenses here. Leads just happen to be one of them, but uh, anyways, uh, this series is four or five or six things. I think I have a total of seven things that I'm going to go through um, that will kind of identify what separates. It's always puzzled me as to how somebody, you know, to age 23 can issue pay, you know, 300,000, you know, 27 years old, issue pay 800,000 in their third year in the business, and you can't get some people to get out of the gate. Uh, what's the difference, right? Have you ever been frustrated and wondered why, you know, like myself, you know, I mean, I, it's always puzzled me. And I, some, my mentor told me, Steve, some people just aren't going to be successful. And I've always rebuked that as, you know, heresy. Uh, I feel like if that person can do it, I can do it. And, you know, I haven't proven it to be true yet. But hopefully some of you that are watching this are just as frustrated as I am trying to figure out what is the top incomers uh, doing in mortgage section, final expense, you know, life insurance, right? And, you know, I wonder why they seem to just keep, keep getting more and more successful, more and more prosperous, and worse yet, they make it seem so, uh, I don't know, simple and easy, while other people, I don't get it. They, you know, they seem to keep trying and trying and trying, and they never just see, you know, get out of first gear. They seem to be stuck forever. And it seems success is just not in the cards for them. And I, again, I, I look, I want everybody to be successful. I wouldn't be wasting my time with people. I wouldn't be on the phone with people trying to help them out. If I didn't believe in them and believe they could be successful, but, you know, my belief of them then being successful isn't always enough. And some of this stuff many times, you've heard many times before, especially if you've been involved in direct selling. Your thoughts become before your action. What you think about will come about. And I think this is the, one of the, the number one areas I talked about in the first video. It's how you think. It's how you see the business. And if you tend to be a negative person, you know, I think you need to work on yourself first. And you heard me say it before, and I'll say it again. You can watch a thousand videos on how to sell this stuff. If you ain't got this stuff right, chances are you're not going to make it. So, you know, in order to be at the top, you got you to think and act like a top income earner, you know, before you're going to ever be a top income earner. So let's take action step number two. Time is number one, okay? Top income earners recognize that time is their most important asset, and it's a very scarce resource. Actually, it's number two in the series. I apologize. You can see there's always, you know, an urgency in their efforts. They're intentional. They're not in one day and out the other, but they're in every day. You know, my team, with my agents, we have a hashtag OB4, open for business. Open for business, O-4-B, o sorry. Um, 
they're not wasting time sitting in front of a, you know the, the TV watching entertainment programs. They're not sitting on Facebook or Twitter arguing about the election results or whatever. You know, uh, Jim Rohn used to say, "Rich people have large libraries; broke people have large TVs." And I, I've just been to, to, to Best Buy, buying a large TV, mind you, uh, replace it for our guest room. Most people have big TVs and, very, and don't read at all. So I would encourage you to take a look at that, right? It's like trying to get a plane off the runway. Top end commerce know you got to run quickly in this business in order to soar and take your business to new heights and, and you move your life in a direction that you won't even recognize. Folks, this business is exploding. There's no reason why anybody is not successfully making it here in, in this business at all. It's, you know, it's all about lead flow and activity. If you have a good work ethic, you're coachable, you want to work, you have a, and you have a huge desire to succeed. I think those are those those three things I just mentioned, coachable, desire, and great work ethic, apply to all businesses. I mean, being in business for yourself, let's face it, there's a gr huge upside, but you're going to have to pay a price for it. No one's going to hand it to you. If you want things handed to you, go get a job or stay at the job that you're at. You can show up there, be nearly brain dead, and they'll still give you a check on Saturday, right? So you're not going to find that here. There are going to be struggles. There are going to be obstacles, right? But people that are top anchors are also an expert at using the power of leverage to, to achieve maximum results. Most people want to do minimum effort and get maximum results, and it doesn't work that way. So instead of you know, driving an hour to sit with one prospect, they'll make several phone calls to and from the appointment. They're going to maximize that time. So on the on the way, you know, most people will put the news on, or you know, I don't know, whatever, listen to a podcast, <laughs> put a YouTube video on, right? Make it a university. Why you're going to that appointment, why you're coming, you know, on the way back from the appointment. Book several appointments so that you're not going out there just in the field just for one. Now, mind you, if you can only book one, then you need to go on that one, right? Don't don't reschedule, right? But use that time to talk to people about joining your agency if you want to, uh, you know, uh, build an agency. Talk to your current agents. Call your coach. You know, my agents call me on the way to and from appointments a lot of time, you know, myself or either or Angela, and discuss the the, uh, the case they were on or the ones that they're heading to. That's the beauty of this business. If you're going to be in a team situation, so take advantage of that time with your coach. It changed my career completely, right? Point is, same effort, but double your results. That to and from an appointment, maximize your time. That's one thing that top end coroners do very, very well is they don't have any downtime. They're always building they're always trying to build their business they're always they're always learning right listen the activity gets the results do the activity get the results that's why that's how i see it. and that's why somebody is frustrating to me is that you know it, it, people can you know it, this is a this is a a, a metrics based system right it's the law of large numbers right you can learn everything you need to learn about this business from from someone that's doing it someone that's leading from the front a coach not an IMO, a coach. Yeah, everybody still wants to ask me who's the best IMO. And we're, we're the best IMO. I can promise you that. We wouldn't be here. We could be anywhere we wanted to be. But the, a coach changed my career, right? The IMOs aren't in the business of training you. They're in the business of supporting you and providing some training. But your day-to-day, -day, ground level, case-by-case -case work, learning how to succeed in this business is going to come from somebody that's experienced and has done it and has done it, has done it successfully. Not just talking as a manual or something, right? Do the activity, get the results. If you see a top end career, find out what he's doing, do that, and you'll get the results. It's simple. As I wrap this up, if you're getting value from this channel, do me a favor. We're getting ready to head into 2021, and, and I really like to grow this YouTube channel in 2021, and I'm going to need you to help me do that. If you're getting anything from this channel at all, hit the thumbs up button. And if you really want to help me, forward and share this video with a friend. They may or may not be in the business. We're not talking about just selling insurance. As I said on the number, video number one, is folks, we, what we do is not complicated. You can watch a thousand videos on how to sell insurance, right? But I, I really believe you gotta invest in yourself, right? You gotta, you gotta invest in yourself first, physically and mentally. Read a book. I got books all over the floor here, and in my bookcase over here, right? I got a huge library. You can't be in this business or in, you know, in a people business without fixing this first. And always, and, and if you're growing a team, your team's never going to grow outgrow your limitations. So you've got to always be growing yourself, 
right? So I hope you're taking notes and getting some value from the channel from this video. The next five or six videos, we're really going to dive into some really key areas that I think are game changers for, if, for somebody that wants to be a uh, top income earner or at least wants to chase a top income earner and what they do differently that allows them to be a top income earner. I think it will impact your business in a huge way and I think it will set you on path of success in 2021 if you apply the principles, right? If you're not just in one week and out the next week. And as always, the secret to success is to never ever quit. Failing is okay. It's how we learn. But if you quit, you're quitting on yourself. And there's nothing out there better than this business right now. If I can help you, my content information is in the description below. We want to have a good year. We want you to have a good year. And uh, count on your support. I appreciate you. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. And those haters out there that say, hey, you sound like you're recruiting when you give your information out. No, I'm here to help you. Not everybody fits what we're looking for for our agency. I'm not asking you to come here. I'm saying let me help you find a place if you're confused and stuck or you're not being treated purposely. All right? Everybody's got to complain about something. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>